Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this infinity scarf here. It's very nice yarn. It's very lightweight and it's very drapey. You can see it's got the two cables running down the middle. Now, this is what it looks like. This is how the yarn kind of turned out. It's kind of neat. So you got the cables all the way down. Now you don't have to make this an affinity scarf. You can make it a regular scarf if you want. So, that being said, let's go ahead and get started on this. I'm going to take a, a second just to remind you to uh, not forget to, to like and subscribe to my channel. If you look in the uh, description box of this video, you will see a auto subscribe link. If you click on that link, you'll automatically be, be subscribed to my channel. That way you never miss any of my updates so you always get a uh, word when I'm putting on new tutorials or anything that has to do with yarn I love to make videos on it so you don't want to miss any of that okay for this project I am using lion brand soft spoken it's a 40% wool 40% polyamide and 20% acrylic there are 394 yards in this cake and I used one whole cake for mine it is a bulky five. And as you can see, it's got quite the fuzz on it. It's actually very easy to work with. And then I'm going to be using a size K, which is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. Now I use this yarn for my scarf, but for tutorial purposes, I'm going to use a different yarn. Now this yarn is not hard to work with at all, but unfortunately it being the dark color and with the fuzz, it will be hard to show you how to do the cables. So I'm just going to use some basic, uh, just some basic uh, regular four weight yarn to show you how to start it off. It's actually really easy. Now remember, I'm not, I'm not doing this because that yarn's hard to work with. Trust me, it's not. It glides right through your fingers. It's a really nice yarn. I'm just doing it so you can see what I'm doing better because with that fuzz and that dark yarn, it's just not, you're not gonna be able to see it very well. So we're gonna start out with a chain of 29. And once you get your chain of 20, 29 made, you wanna go ahead and uh, single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Now remember, we never count this one that's on our hook. So in the second stitch, you go ahead and do a single crochet. Now we're just going to continue working one single crochet in every single stitch for the length of the chain. Just like that. One single every stitch until you get to the end of your chain. Okay, at the end of row one, you should have a total of 28 stitches now. You will have 28 stitches at the end of every row now for the rest of the scarf. So for row two, we're just going to chain one and turn our work. <clears throat> now that chain one doesn't count as a stitch, so we're going to work right back into this very, very first stitch and double crochet. And now we're going to work one double crochet in every single stitch all the way across until we get to the end of the row. So just like that. One double in every stitch till you make it to the end. Okay, when you make it to the end of row two, you still should have 28 stitches. Now, rows three and four is the repeat row for the rest of the pattern. It's just a simple two row repeat. So we're gonna start row three by chaining one and turning our work. Now remember that chain one doesn't count as a stitch, so we're gonna go right back into this very first stitch and double crochet. And now we're going to double crochet into the next 
six stitches. So counting that very first double crochet in the six that we're doing, we're going to have seven double crochets in a row. Now we're going to start our cable. What we're going to do is we're going to skip these three stitches here and we're going to work in these three stitches starting with this first one and we're going to work a front post triple crochet into this stitch. So go ahead and yarn over two times like you're going to do a triple. Skip three stitches, go around the post of the next and triple crochet. like that and then we're going to do a front post triple into the next two also so yarn over twice go around the post of the next stitch and then triple crochet and then the next one yarn over twice go around the front of the post and triple crochet Now what we're going to do is we're going to back it up and we're going to put front post triples in the three stitches that we skipped, starting with this very first one way back here. So go ahead and yarn over twice and you got to make a big stretch and go around the post of that very first one and triple crochet. Now these posts do take a little time or these cables do take a little time to get used to, but once you get going, you'll be able to do it just fine. Now you got to go in front post triple around the next one. So I kind of always just dig around in my stitches to make sure I get in the right one. So this next one right here, yarn over twice and you go around the post of it and triple crochet. And then there'll be one more in here still, that one right there. Yarn over twice, go around the post of it and triple crochet and I know it probably looks kind of like a tangled mouse mess but it will work out once you get some more rows going so now what we're going to do is double crochet into the next two stitches so this stitch way over here that hasn't been worked it don't have a post around it this one right here go ahead and just do a regular double crochet right into the top of it and then a regular double crochet into the top of the next now we're going to do another cable. So we're going to do the same thing over here that we just did over here. So we're going to skip these three stitches and front post triple into these three starting with this very first one. So yarn over twice, skip your three, go around the post of this one and triple crochet. And then we're going to go around the post of the next one. and triple crochet and one more time the post of the next one and triple crochet and again we're going to back it up and we're going to front post triple around the three that we skipped starting with the very first one way 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 over here so yarn over twice make a big reach and go around that first post of the first one that we skipped triple crochet yarn over twice and go around the next one post of the next one triple crochet then there's one more in there we need a front post triple around you got to kind of look for it there it is Go right around it and triple crochet. Now you should have seven stitches that remain. You want to go ahead and put one double crochet into the top of the remaining seven stitches. So the next stitch go right in the top of it and double crochet all the way until you get to the end of the chain.
and there's seven still should have your 28 stitches and that ends row three so I know your cables look a little wonky but trust me the more rows you do on them the more they'll start to lay out and look right so row four is chain one and turn our work double crochet right here into this very first stitch and again we're going to double crochet in the next six so counting this first one we'll have seven in a row There we go. And now we're going to be working back post triples. When we work on the back side of our work, we always work back posts. And when we work on the front side, we always work front posts. So we're working on the back side now. So what I always do to make it easy is I stick my finger in between the cables. So there's three on the front of my finger and three on the back. We want to work the three on the front of your finger first. And we want to do that by putting a back post triple crochets in each one, starting with this one, then this one, and then this one. Remember the ones on the front side of your finger first. So we're going to yarn over, and we're going to do our back post triple. That's where we go around the stitch from the back, just like that. So the post is on the back side of your hook. And then we just do a triple crochet. your finger back in there and you can see the two up front so you just go right to the next one and back post triple crochet around that one put your finger back in there and you see this one in the front we still need to go around back post triple crochet around that one Just like that. And now we're going to work these, thr these three here on the front of my finger, starting with the first one. And that's back post triples again. So we go right around in between and back post triple around that first one. And again, the next one. And one more time around this last one. Now we're going to put one double crochet into the top of each of these two double crochets here. So one double crochet here. One double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to do our cable again. So I'm going to go ahead and work my finger through there. So I got three on the front. And three on the back of my finger I'm going to do the three on the back first starting with the very first one so yarn over like you're going to do a triple go around the post from the behind and then go ahead and do your triple crochet again yarn over twice go to the next one in the back triple crochet and you can see there's one more right here that we still need to get on the front of your finger go right around that and triple crochet now we're going to work the three that's on the front of my finger here starting with this very first one so I'm going to yarn over twice back post triple around the first one And then the next one. And then that last one. And now you should have seven stitches that remain. Go ahead and put one double crochet in the remaining, in the top of the remaining seven stitches. Now 
and that ends row four. 28 stitches total. Chain one and turn. Now we're on the front of our work. And now the cables are kind of starting to look like cables. But that's it. Now it's just a repeat of rows three and four. So remember, it's just double crocheting in these seven stitches here. And then we, on the repeat of row three, we have to skip these three, front post triple in these three, go back and front post triple in these three. Double crochet in the next two, skip the first three, front post triple into the next three, go back and front post triple into these three that we skipped, and double crochet in the remaining seven stitches. And then when you flip it around again, you're just repeating row four, only you're doing back post doubles. And remember, always put your finger in between them because it helps to separate them. The three on the front and the three on the back. You always work the three on the front of your finger, back post triples, and then the three on the back side here, front post triples. So that's it. It's actually really pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So you just want to continue doing repeating rows three and four until you get your um, scarf as long as you want it to be. Okay, I went ahead and done a total of 68 rows. Now you can make yours long as you want. I just am just about ready to run out of yarn. That's why I stopped and I still want to slip stitch mine together. So you do yours as many as you want and that's 68 rows counting that very first row of single crochet we did. So counting that it was 68. If you uh, do it longer just end in an even number of rows or end where your last row is where we did the worked on the front of side of your work. Now we're going to slip stitch it together. So make sure your piece isn't uh, twist it up or anything. Kind of fold it in half. And you want to fold it in half to where the wrong side is facing you. See here's the wrong side of my work. And then when you lift it up the cables are on the inside. So the cables are on the inside right now. So you can just go ahead and pick up where you left off. I left off over here. All I'm going to do is slip stitch my piece together. And I'm sorry if it's hard to see. I'm just going to bring this yarn over to this side and I'm going to go into the very first stitch and then I'm going to go back into that same stitch here and do a slip stitch. And now I'm just going to work down the row picking up the next stitch on this piece and then the next stitch on this piece back here and doing a slip stitch. And that's how I'm going to uh, sew up the make it an infinity scarf of course if you didn't want to do this you can just make it a regular scarf but I'm just going to work right down the row slip stitching it right together And then when you make it to the end, all the way down here, you just want to hide your tail, tie off, and then you can flip your scarf right side out. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue and get this all sewed up here. Now if you're more comfortable uh, sewing it together with a yarn needle, needle, you can do that too. It makes no difference really. Whatever works best. So just like that. Okay, I got it all sewed up here. I hid my tails. I'm going to flip it right side out. Now you're going to have a seam. Now I hate seams so much. I really, really hate seams. <clears throat> In a perfect world, crochet would have no seams. But unfortunately, we all know the world isn't perfect. And neither is our crochet. So we accept it for what it is. And it's still beautiful regardless whether it's perfect or not. And that's is it that's all there is to it this is so soft I think it turned out nice I like the color changes in it it's really pretty um, so 
yeah, like I said, that's it. That's all there is to it. If you make this or anything else, I'd really love to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. Also, don't forget to check out in the description box for the uh, <coughs> automatic subscribe button, where if you click that, you'll be automatically subscribed to my channel, and you'll never miss an update. So until next time, have a good day.